Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, and today we will be removing a background highlight in Photoshop. But first, make sure you visit flourish.academy to learn more about our courses and free resources. And have you checked out my podcast? I often cover mindset topics related to running a photography business, and I think you'll find it interesting. And just like my tutorials, I keep my episodes short. My friend Carrie recently sent me this photo and I thought the highlights were so pretty on her hair. I love the stairs and the brick, but I found this highlight in the background to be distracting even though it is the source of the light. If you wanna keep it, that's fine. I would like to remove it. Make sure you visit my friend Carrie's website. She's a very talented photographer in the Pittsburgh area. I'm going to begin by duplicating my background layer. That's a command or control J on the keyboard. And I am going to use the remove tool. It is J on the keyboard. There are a couple of different ways you can use this tool. You can simply click and brush over the area so you can make this brush bigger with the right bracket key or smaller with the left bracket key. But typically the way I like to use it is to just make kind of a selection around the area and let it fill in automatically and then automatically remove. That is amazing to me. It <laughs> did it so quickly and it looks perfect. I don't think there's any pixels I would need to touch up. Because that was so easy, I'm thinking maybe we should jump over into Lightroom and see if we could accomplish the same thing using the spot removal tool. Oh, but real quick, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. Not only will you be supporting a small family owned business, but they ship just as fast as Amazon. So make sure you check them out. So here we are in Lightroom. I'm going to press Q on the keyboard in order to access, well, they call it the healing tool now, but previously this was the spot removal tool. And you have these different modes content aware remove, you have the healing, which copies, pastes, and blends the pixels, and you have the clone, which simply copies and pastes those pixels. So of course, we're gonna start with content aware. And I'm just going to brush over this area, drag to select, and let Lightroom try to figure it out. It's unbelievable. That looks really good. But let's compare it to the Photoshop version, just out of curiosity. Okay, I have both versions in Photoshop. Let's zoom in with a Command or Control Plus. I'm just gonna pan to this area. This is the Photoshop version, and this is the Lightroom version. It looks to me like Photoshop did a slightly better job. Lightroom, well, maybe not. It's just different, but if we zoom out, because there's no need to be a pixel peeper, and we look at this, I think I do prefer the Photoshop version. You can see in the layers palette, I have PS for the Photoshop version and then LR for Lightroom. I think it's really just a personal preference, but I wanted to show you both methods because some people prefer to keep their workflow inside of Lightroom. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.